We have a lot to look at in this video. We're going to be focusing here on the S&P 500 and also on the NASDAQ. We're going to be taking a look at the DXY today and its price action today. Try to see if we know what is next. And then we're going to check in on gold and silver. Nothing new to add to the conversation today on Bitcoin. Everyone should be fully aware exactly where we're at in the cycle and what happens next. We're going to focus here on the indexes. By the way, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. This is Jordan with Conquer Trading and Investing. Let's start off here with the S&P 500. We started off the session today. We started off bid on the fact that there was positive vaccine news. And you could see that we've held on to those gains. Not only did we hold on to those gains, but we've came come in and we've tested that trend line again. Let's look over here at the one hour candles and we could see it right over there. Right. We could see that during today's session, we came in tested and that support held that trend line support held. I'm a little surprised about that. I thought we were going to actually fade today's open and then break down at some point over here versus this trend line. But what happens is this is that we are right back now in the middle of this range overhead resistance below support. We're dead center in this consolidation that's happening right now. What does that mean to everybody? This is as clear as clear can be that we are in no man's land and that we're awaiting the next move. The next move is either going to be a breakdown over here. And by the way, that's a tradable event. You can see over here that currently we have about what do we have? One and a half percent. Not bad. It's still a tradable event. And then uh, if we break closer to the peak over here, obviously there's going to be more room over there and there will be, let's see, let's call it somewhere around, well, 1.7 percent, 1.8 percent. Nevertheless, I am looking if we break down over there personally, Jordan, this is my own opinion. By the way, this analysis is here, right? In order for one reason and one reason only to provide an edge of my own trading and at the same time to give you some clarity for your own trades, whether or not you agree with what I'm doing, it should offer you a lot, a lot of clarity on what your move should be. It should be a really good sounding board versus your own analysis. If we break down over here, I'm interested in getting involved. I'm interested in getting involved on the breakdown before, because ultimately, if we break down below this, right over here, this trend line, by the way, this is resistance. This should now be support. An entry over here will get me in early. If we break down over here, we could really be looking for a big correction on the indexes. I'm aware of it. And at the same time, as we're in the no man's land right now in the middle of this consolidation, we could break either way to the upside or to the downside. And both of those, in my opinion, provide a really good opportunity from a risk reward perspective. I'm tracking them. I'm waiting back to talking about you need to be a predator, right? You're, you're, you're a feline out on the savannah. What do they do? They stalk their prey. Do they just attack when they see a herd of antelope? Absolutely not. What's the first thing they do is they observe, they watch, they wait, they look to see if anything one is sick. They look to see if anyone's weak and they wait and they watch until it's separating a little bit from the herd. Then they line up the attack and then they attack. Most of the effort goes into lining up the kill not into the actual kill itself. It's the same thing as a trader over here. I like this pattern forming. By the way, it's a holiday week here in the United States. Over here, it is Thanksgiving week. Nevertheless, we are tracking this area over here, waiting for a breakout, and that could produce a tradable event. The same thing is happening on the NASDAQ, right? We are still holding below this resistance. Do you remember all this fake breakout over here? That's why we don't take breakouts. They are a really low probability trade. We wait for the breakout, then the retest. And if we get a resumption, that's when we attack, right? Do you remember coming back over here? Jordan, you haven't taken a trade. Look over here. Do you remember this morning? We were up four and a half percent. And I was like, no, everyone is bullish as bullish could be. And I was like on the live stream in the morning, watch out, caution, the markets have overreacted here. What do you mean the markets have overreacted? That's not down four and a half percent the next session right over here. That's clarity for you right over here. Look what happened today. We were rejected again by this resistance, but this support is held. We are also right over here consolidating. 
what I what I see going on in the indexes is conflicting signals. Whether you're looking at the Russell, which is making new all time highs today, whether you're looking at the Dow, not making new all time highs, but looks very bullish above that line over there, right over here. It made new all time highs a week ago, right? The Dow, the S and P made new all time highs a week ago. The Nasdaq did not. The Nasdaq did not. You can see it came up short over here. There's the all-time high. Follow the mouse over to the right. It came up short, and since then, technically, it's not looking as nice as the other indexes as it remains below this resistance. Now, no question about it, this could go either way. A breakdown over here is opening up a nice trade, a very nice trade, actually. You're attacking the weakness. Right now, the index that week is the NASDAQ. By the way, that's about 6% coming in just to the support area over there, right? So, but it could also break out above and that would be also an opportunity here. Is it possible that tech is gonna pick up after lagging these last few weeks and we're gonna see a rotation back into tech? It's all possible, no question about it. NASDAQ breaking about over here, that also brings a tradable event for me as well if it breaks down. I see a lot of clarity going on and I like trading from a position like that. Now over here on the DXY, we're gonna take a look this morning, it was breaking down outside the blue box over here. You could see that we spiked down. The reason that you wait for the close of the daily to know whether a support or resistance has been broken, you could see here that we just wicked below here this morning. We did not close below that blue box, that support over here. We actually closed, a couple of things happened. This is kind of a big deal. And at the same time, it's kind of not a big deal. All of a sudden, the chatter out there is everyone has gone all uber bullish on the dollar, on the DXY, right? Do I have confirmation? I don't, but I'm gonna tell you what happened. First of all, a couple of things happened. You go over here, the trend line over here from the March high, right? We had a touch over here back in May. We had another touch over here back in September and then another one in October. This line is completely relevant, right? When we first broke above it, that looked like an opportunity to go long. We then protected ourselves, got back neutral, and have remained neutral since. If we broke down below this blue box, it would have offered an opportunity to really be looking for further weakness on the dollar, but it is not what happened. Again, again, breakdowns and breakouts are low probability trades. That's why you wait for the retest and then the resumption. That's a high probability entry. Right over here though, after breaking this trend line over here today, that set us back towards having that, 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 uh, that, that bias towards dollar weakness back towards neutral. But look what else happened. After breaking out over there, it came back and it's so far it's testing this area of broken resistance to see if it could flip it over to support. If you get a resumption out of here now, over the next 24 hours, if this continues to hold and you get a resumption out of over here, we could expect the dollar to be coming back up to test first 93.50. That's what I would expect happens next. Now, before I become bullish on the dollar, I wanna see a break and hold above 94. I'm playing it safe because we have been for months sideways consolidating. So that's, that's where I'm at on the dollar. It's too soon to call a bottom. There's no confirmation of that. All we've done is gone back to neutral. And that's where we're at today. Now, it's also possible, by the way, that we do not hold this support over here. It's a light, it's a light level at 92.50. It's possible we come back down and test this trend line which now broken should be holding as support. And if it does, it's possible that's where we resume up. And again, if that happens and we take out the last swing high from earlier today, that would be something that would have us targeting first 93.50. And then if we're able to, to, to break above that resistance back at 94. But there is no edge here on the dollar right now. We are still in that blue box after attempting a breakdown earlier today. What about gold? The precious metals are under pressure today. Gold right here is closing below this area of support. This area I have over here at 1848. It was in the area, 1845, 1847, 1848 on my chart over here. You can see that we broke below that. What does that mean? We've gone from being in no man's land on the dollar, in no man's land was below this trend line and above this area of support, over here, we were in no man's land. There was no edge. 
And now over here, this breakdown, this sets up an event where we could see further possible uh, go weakness on gold. No question about it. Now, again, breakdowns are low probability trades. We're not looking to play the breakdown. I am personally, there's no way I'm looking to take a short on the precious metals. I am very bullish on precious metals. You're going to see what happens early in 2021. Uh, but what, what we're seeing right here is an opportunity. So it's about timing that opportunity. Wait to see where we go. We have some support down over here, right over here, around, let's call it 1795, 1793, 1790 in that area, right? You go over here back towards this July low over here of this consolidation, and that's an area to watch out for for support. That's the first area. I'll go ahead and I'll put an area of support over there, and we can watch to see if that area holds as support. And if it does, and we're able to resume off over there, that could be an opportunity to get long on gold. And if it doesn't, we have really strong support below that at 1743. Again, that is going to be a gift if that happens. I look, Jordan, gold's manipulated. Yeah, gold is probably the most heavily instrument, uh, most heavily manipulated instrument in the world. That just gives us more opportunity to continue to accumulate over here. Right now, the plays on Bitcoin. I believe that everyone following this channel has their capital and resources allocated correctly. Nevertheless, watch what happens. Gold and silver are going to have their time. I believe it's going to be early in 2021. Silver's not looking as bad as gold. Right? You could see over here technically two things. That this trend line, this was all resistance. Broke out, retest, never made a new swing high, made a lower Right there, a lower swing high. That's bearish, but still holding above the 2330 support and still holding above that breakout of that trend line. So silver is not actually as in a, as bad technical shape as gold. Gold's not looking the greatest over here. Stay away. Wait until it improves. And when it improves, you want to you wanna be preemptive of the momentum and at the same time be riding momentum. Okay? Now is not the time to get yourself... Uh, caught in a gold trade, wait until it improves. Wait until it starts acting, repairing some damage. It's done damage over here. The break of this this support over here, this trend line, that was the first bit of damage. You can see after it broke down, it retested the broken support as resistance. And now we have the resumption down over here, breaking that area of support. Technically, it's not looking good. Find something that's looking good. Get involved over there. That's how we do it. Everyone, I'll see you all in the morning. Sorry that that video came down today. Uh, that was obviously a one-off occurrence. It's never happened before. Nevertheless, apologies. I know a lot of people were looking. I received a ton of comments and uh, notifications. People were really looking to watch that video that couldn't be with us live this morning. Tomorrow, we go live. We're going to be going live all week including on Thursday morning, Thanksgiving. There'll be no afternoon update that day on Thursday. It's Thanksgiving here. It's a holiday. Be with the family. But Thursday morning, we'll definitely be reviewing the markets together. Everyone have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow.